So, there's this rather popular game that you may or may not have heard of. Allegedly, the origins are from Russia. It's a game where, how do I explain this? You take your officially licensed Nerf Fortnite dart blaster with camo pulse wrap and rotating drum, you load one dart, spin the drum, and then fire into yourself. The winner is then determined on if you did not get hit by a dart. Is that vague enough? Uh, probably? I don't know. Anyway, Mike has a rather different twist to it. Instead of your officially licensed Nerf branded Fortnite dart blaster with camo pulse wrap, you have a fucking shotgun. This game has been making its rounds, and honestly, I can see why. Buckshot Roulette. A rather short game, but that's not the point, as you're literally partaking in the embodiment of gambling. Traditionally with money, now with your life. We start our night off at a random club's bathroom. The music is booming through the walls. We go two doors down. A hundred days. Wrong door. And we find ourselves with what the game refers to as the dealer. A grotesque and very sharply toothed person. I don't, I don't know. But before we do anything, we gotta sign the general waiver of liability. Gotta hand it to him. He got all of his paperwork in order, so I mean, I can't really blame the guy. Rules are simple. You get a certain amount of health, and you gotta get the dealer to zero. Presented in front of you are a shotgun and a line of multicolored shotgun shells, which are then loaded at random by the dealer. Some of them are live rounds, and some of them are blanks. Shoot yourself with the blank, you skip the dealer's turn. This being a game of chance, the only thing I can say is, good luck. <laughs> I guess you took the 50-50. Anyway, thankfully the game allows you to reset as many times as you want during the first two rounds. Definitely gives you enough time to lock in right before round two, because in round two, items are introduced. Two items at the start of each round, one of five, for both you and the dealer. Each of them of course having different effects. The handcuff skips the dealer's turn. Beer ejects the current bullet and also ends the round if it was the last bullet. Magnifying glass allows you to check the current bullet. Cigarettes give you an extra health. And last but not least, my favorite, the handsaw, which cuts off the front of the shotgun and does double damage. The game allows you to use basically every item on your turn if you so choose to, but that also applies to the dealer. So there are some instances where he handcuffs you, puffs a cigarette, drinks a beer, checks a magnifying glass, says very interesting thing and then ends up still shooting himself even though he just checked it fantastic okay let's move on to the third round i hope you got accustomed to using those items because now you get four of them either you use them or you don't but remember you can only store up to eight max this time this shit is for real like the guy says no more defibrillators no more blood transfusions this is your last chance and if you're as unlucky as me this will be the end of your run if you fail there's a few extra quirks this time that being it is the maximum amount of health you can have theoretically at least because the last two hp are struck out Meaning, if you get to them, that's it. There's no more. They essentially just count as one. Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, uh, so, uh, third round, right? Fuck. Listen, it's basically your final fight. If you're gonna do what you're gonna do, then fuck it, you know? At this point, I, I can't really describe how it is. Like, the anxiety of it is pretty rational, because, like, holy shit. Like, I didn't start taking it seriously up until that third round, and then I was, like, counting bullets, and I'm like, okay, so that's gotta be mine. This is gonna be for him like at one point i just chugged three beers and i was just sloshed out of my mind you don't get a turn fucker like that's it <laughs> you're just you're done and he was done because i eventually did get to him he lost all of his health and that was that it was a great little adventure of shooting myself i've never said that before and then getting out on top on this game this fucking lethal ass game and it, do it doesn't even make sense either but you know whatever fuck it we're throwing that shit out the window you know what a shotgun does at close range that shit obliterates they it turns you to dust but for whatever reason, a defibrillator just brings you back from whatever. Like, I still have a hole in me. Like, I still have a massive area of my body that got chunked out. Like, whatever. That's fine. It's fine. Logic isn't even supposed to be here. I mean, smoking a cigarette, that kills you, right? Technically, in like 40 years. But for this one, it gives you an extra charge on the defibrillator. But that... What? Or like how the saw cuts off the front of the shotgun, but the shotgun then magically repairs itself. Whatever. I'm not here to question the mechanics of the game. If it works, it works. If it's balanced, so be it. Whatever. Make it regrow. At the end of the day, I get approximately 40 to 60k, depending. Was it worth it? I don't think so. I mean, that amount of money is just for, for my life? I don't know. I think that's like the hidden message behind all that. Like, look, I'm not a philosopher, so I'm not going to say anything about it, but it's kind of low. Like with other games, it's like at least a million and above, right? 
surprisingly, I played this game after an update came out, so it had a couple of changes. That update was AI changes and a new item at the beginning. Right before you do anything, there's a bottle of pills on the very edge of the sink. I don't condone any drug abuse, but if you take these, it randomizes the game. Random amounts of health and random amounts of items each round at the start of the first round. And also, if you go through all three rounds, you get a choice double or nothing and you know i had to double it up oh the game itself nine out of ten fantastic i love it it has a commentary i guess on this type of stuff where it's like oh addiction to gambling aside from that it's very balanced the only thing i want is multiplayer because it would be funny to do this with friends but uh no no not in real life because that would be fucked all right let's wrap this up you know the drill i see you motherfuckers looking at my videos and not subscribing fuck you like come on it's free do it and if you don't want to subscribe let me know why the fuck not maybe i can change that by the way this game was streamed on january 14th live on twitch.tv slash xenobox make sure to drop by and check out what's happening that's about it for me fellas please be safe stay hydrated and last but not least please have an exceptional day